Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm super excited for today's video. In today's video, I'm going to do a value study for a character design. So I hope you guys can take something from this and um, I hope it's entertaining. I'm gonna be working on my iPad Pro. It's the newest model from 2018 and I'm using the iPad Pencil 2, which it comes with. And I'm also using Procreate. So um, hopefully that's enough information for you guys. Um, without further ado, let's get into the video. All right guys, so I'm gonna jump into Procreate uh, where I have already started doing my value study of this character. Um, she doesn't have a name or anything yet, but uh, it's just a fun little thing I'm gonna do for my portfolio. All right, so um, something that's really um, awesome about doing digital artwork is that you can uh, do um, something called alpha lock, which is probably something a lot of you guys may have heard of. It basically creates kind of like, um, like these walls around the perimeter of whatever you have painted or selected without going outside the lines. Um, so it's really nice. So this layer is on alpha lock. You can tell by the little transparency checkerboard pattern behind it and uh, alpha lock is checked. Uh, so what that allows me to do is to draw without having to worry about coloring outside the lines. Uh, something I'm gonna be doing today is fixing this value study that I had done a while back. Um, and I've watched recently a few more YouTube videos, which is why I like making YouTube videos because um, I think it will help other people um, learn. There's something weird with this layer, but that's okay. I think that um, what I need to do with this is to create a basic value over everything before I get into to the, too many of the details because that's what I tend to do a lot. Um, I tend to start to get into too many values too quickly. So I'm just gonna start with the base value, which um, should be the darkest value of everything. Um, so I'm gonna find that out a little bit, make it maybe a little bit darker. And then from there, I'm gonna build on top and create more values. And then from there, I can colorize those values and figure out what kind of color scheme I'm going for. And something I learned from uh, some YouTube videos that I was watching today in preparation for this, um, I learned a lot about choosing lighting. And so I'm gonna to try to implement that today. And um, I'm gonna to try to figure out which way, which direction the light is coming from. And that way I can properly light up the face. And also I failed to mention uh, why value studies are important. Um, if you don't do a value study, sometimes if you just jump into color, um, there could be a lot of issues value-wise, which value is just the light or darkness of something. So that can cause a lot of issues if you are not paying attention. So you gotta make sure that those values are working before you move to color. I really like this character a lot because um, I'm definitely into sci-fi, that's kind of my thing. Um, but I'm really excited to play around um, more with character design and um, I've definitely done a lot more um, since coming home from school this year than I have any other year um, which is awesome because I just am a lazy person naturally which I think maybe we all are so it's really hard to get ourselves to do something and so um, I'm just really happy to be able to be making YouTube videos and to be um, making art like I am right now. So recently I applied for um, a BFA, which is Bachelor's in Fine Arts, but um, I was not accepted, um, and I think for good reason. Um, they advised me that um, I need to work more on um, the storytelling process of my illustrations um, if I'm going to make it into that degree. Um, now, I'm basically gonna be taking all the same classes as a Bachelor's in the Fine Arts degree. Um, but I probably am not going to get my BFA. I'm probably just gonna go for the BA um, because it's already my junior year. Next year I graduate and um, I definitely uh, can't let myself get hung up on that kind of stuff uh, because after all it is kind of just a title and um, I will be taking all the same classes anyway. Um, but yeah, that being said, I do need to figure out more of a um, story for this because the more I come up with a story for her, the better off the design will be because I can implement a lot of different details into the illustration.
And now I'm just kind of comparing my old value study that I did without really thinking about it too much. Um, still trying to figure out everything. All right, so now I am renaming my layer. Um, so that way I don't get them confused because um, I just now was like really confused at which layer was which, which was the new one, which was the old one. Um, but uh, yeah, now they're, now they will be labeled correctly. Yeah, I'm having a hard time getting this to be like smooth. Um, I'm just kind of like a little antsy to get to the coloring part, um, but I know this is an important step. Um, so I'm gonna try to see how far I can render this to make it look a little bit smoother because obviously these brush strokes are pretty amateur and pretty ugly. So I'm gonna try to fix that. I think I kind of figured out what I was doing wrong. Um, I was kind of messing around with the opacity and um, the way I've been doing it as of late is um, I turned on the opacity a lot and this lever right here is the opacity and then this is the brush size obviously. So um, I need to have the opacity up a little bit more otherwise you're gonna see through all of these brush strokes and that makes it look really bad. Um, so I'm gonna turn up the opacity and try to fix it that way. Alright guys, I'm going to take a quick break to get a bite to eat and I will be right back. Alright guys, what is up? I am back. Um, I also realized in the break that I should probably be recording my screen lengthwise. So apologies for the uh, awkward framing, but uh, hopefully this should fix it now. Now this process, it takes quite a bit of time. Uh, 
definitely a lot more time than sometimes I would like to spend on um, something, but uh, I keep having to remind myself that it's worth it, that it's gonna be something really good. And um, again, I am trying to fill up a portfolio book that's pretty big. I wanna be able to have everything fill out that whole entire page. Um, so I think it would be really good to have a value study and show a um, development process of how I designed and developed this character. And um, that is what I'm working towards right now. So um, let's get back to it. I think the more time you spend on something, the more sense it'll make. Uh, sometimes I start out a project such as this, and I'm not really sure like how to digital paint, but as you start to go along, you start to learn. And I think that's the whole point, and that's something that I just really want everyone to realize is that um, even though you don't know how to do something, just start doing it, because you're never gonna learn how to do it unless you fail a bunch of times. And that's pretty much what my whole YouTube channel, everything I've pretty much ever done art-wise has been, is a lot of it's just been a lot of failures. Um, but even as I'm recording these videos and making a lot of this artwork, um, I've been really impressed with all the things that I've been able to learn while making mistakes. And um, I think that's the biggest um, take back from all of this is just keep going. Um, it doesn't matter if you perfectly know how to do something, you just need to start trying. Um, and uh, something I've been neglecting to also say, in case you don't know, um, when you're picking colors, um, you can merge the two colors and start to mix them. Um, and there's different brush settings and stuff you can use, but this is just the way I'm doing it. Um, so this can be kind of transparent as I color darker, obviously it gets more darker. Um, but if you color lightly over it, or you are coloring, for instance, and you kind of have a little bit of overlap. So you can go to the more transparent part of that stroke and it's actually mixing with the other color because of its opacity. Um, so then you can better mix the two colors together and you just kind of go back and forth, back and forth, trying to blend the two until it's kind of seamless.
I think I'm done for tonight. Um, I'm going to have to take a break from this and come back another day to do the colors. This is fine. I'm doing a great job. <laughs>